Hello, I'm Truman with Park Tool, and today we're going to be walking through cable install on trigger shifters. Trigger shifters use levers that are pushed or pulled with your fingers or thumbs to change gears. For other types of levers, see our shift lever playlist. While many brands and models are reviewed in this video, your exact model or brand may not be covered. In these cases, you may be able to determine the replacement process by inspecting the lever and working carefully to access, remove, and replace the cable, based on some of the other examples in this video. If you're still having problems, contact your manufacturer. In mechanical shifting systems, the shift cable and housing is how your shifters tell your derailleur what to do. The cable pulls or releases a set amount of cable to cause the derailleur to move a set amount. If the cable or housing has become kinked, worn, frayed, or corroded, you may experience slow shifting, inconsistent shifting, hard shifting, or no shifting at all. Replacing your cables and housing can improve the shifting. This video will focus on shift cable replacement. For housing replacement, see how to size and install shift cable housing. Typical tools and supplies needed are a new cable. The cable end for all these shifters looks like this and is referred to as a SRAM Shimano shift derailleur cable. When sourcing a cable, look for one with a single end. The other end of these is typically welded and makes routing much easier. Cable cutters, like the Park Tool CN10, appropriately sized hex wrenches, 3, 4, and 5 mm are common. You may also need a T25 Torx compatible wrench a flat tip screwdriver, a small cross tip screwdriver, number two sized cross tip screwdriver, a dental pick like the one from Park Tools Upset, and a flashlight. First step in the replacement process is removing the old cable from the shifter. Start by using the small release lever while pedaling to release as much cable as possible. This will leave your chain resting on the smallest sprocket in both the front and the rear. Some Shimano front shifters have a 2x3x selection switch. Set this to 3x and pull the release lever. Now, loosen the anchor bolt at the derailleur. If the cable is kinked at the end, or frayed, it is best to cut the cable ahead of the cable end cap, or kink, to allow it to move more freely through the housing. Pull the housing away from the shifter. This will expose the cable, so you can grab it and push the cable out. From here, the process varies. We'll show you some examples of the most popular lever styles, organized by brand, starting with Shimano. Some shifters need to be partially disassembled to gain access to the head of the cable. Like on this Shimano, there's a plastic plug that unthreads from the shifter with a cross-tip screwdriver, allowing the head to exit. There are also Shimano shifters that have covers on the top. These are typically shifter brake combos like this. Loosen the two screws and the cover will lift off. Once you have the cover off, you may need a pick or small screwdriver to coax the head out of its retainer. Pull the cable from the shifter. Install the new cable and pull on it firmly to seat it. Now replace the cover.
Some shifters, like this SRAM X5, allow the cable to be pushed right out. On this SRAM shifter, we find a rubber flap. Pull back the flap and push the cable out. On this style of SRAM shifter, there is no port or hole for the cable head to come out of. The actual top cover has to come off. And to get at it, we find it easiest to remove the shifter from the bar. Then remove the fastener holding the top cover on. Remove the cable. This sometimes requires prying the cable head out from under the spring with a pick. It can also look like this. The cable is easier to remove in this position. With the lever fully released, like this, it's hard to get at. Pull the shift lever and it's easier to remove the cable. To install, reverse the process. Give the spring a lift and it will seat nicely into place with a firm pull. Replace the cover. On this one, shift once to get a better angle. Insert the cable. Then shift back once the cable is in place. There are other trigger shifters that aren't Shimano or SRAM that have similarities to how the cable is accessed and removed. This microshift is open and allows the cable to be pushed out. On this TRP, there's a rubber plug that is removed to access and push the cable out. Remember, if your particular trigger shifter wasn't shown in this video, examine the shifter and look for accesses like the examples we've shown. If you are replacing your housing along with your cables, see this video here. To install the new cable in all these shifters, it helps to sight the hole. You can typically see a little bit of light through the hole, but in a lot of cases, it helps to use a flashlight. If you are not replacing the housing, route the cable to the derailleur. Feed the cable through the groove of the pinch bolt mechanism and pull the slack from the cable. Secure the pinch bolt screw, typically to about 5 newton meters. Cut cable approximately 30 millimeters long. Install an end cap. Well, now that we've got our cable routed, it's time to adjust our derailleur. For more on that, check out our derailleur adjustment playlist. Thanks for routing with us.